morning, Cecil, Raquel, Wendy Sheffield. Good morning. Good morning. Vivian, good morning. Ohio, La Place, Louisiana, Pittsburgh. I'll be in Pittsburgh tomorrow. South Jersey Blaze in the house. Come on. Savannah, Philly, Burlington, Buffalo. Good morning. Decatur Blaze. If you're an intercessor in Decatur, Georgia, send us an email. Go to awakeningblaze.com so we can connect you. You'll see a new website there. The only thing missing is the interactive map. Awakening Blaze is a prayer movement in the nations. Good morning, Sweden. <laughs> Orlando, El Paso. Igniter's in the house. Come on, Ignite Network. Melbourne, Australia. Cape Town, South Africa. Pastors Mitch and Pilar. Thank you, Robin. Misty Edwards. Have your way, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Share this with your friends. Invite your followers. Get it going. Share, share, share. We're going to start... One minute. Hello, Charlene. Kubrashta Shakata. one of my all-time favorite songs. You got to mean it when you sing it. Fling Wide by Misty Edwards. Good morning, everyone. Jennifer LeClaire here, senior leader at the Awakening House of Prayer, founder of the Ignite Network, and author of our devotional, Mornings with the Holy Spirit, listening daily to the still, small voice of God. Today's devotion titled, Ask for the Desires of Your Heart. And here's what I heard the Lord say. What are you able to believe, Father, for? What do you have 
a difficult time believing him for. I already know the answers, but I want you to consider the questions and confront the enemies of your faith. I want you to recognize the voices of doubt and fear that come to rob Father's promises from you. All of Father's promises are yes and amen. They belong to you in Christ. The word is true, and he is able to do much more in your life than is recorded in the Bible. Jesus is Lord. Begin asking for the desires of your heart and refuse to bow to the enemy's faith-stealing tactics anymore. Oh, what a charge. What a, uh, an exhortation. Uh, what great and solid sound advice the Lord is giving us this morning. Ask him for the desires of your heart. Today's scripture references Matthew 19, verse 26, Genesis 18, verse 14, and Ephesians chapter 3, verses 20 and 21. And the prayer starter for today, I can see some of the enemies of my faith. Thank you for empowering me to overcome them little by little as I meditate on your word. I am asking you now for those things I haven't dared to ask for in the past. I am asking for the desires of my heart in Jesus name father we thank you this morning that you are the desire giver and you are the desire fulfiller you are the dream giver you are the dream fulfiller we thank you Lord we praise you we give you all the glory this morning there is nobody like you God you are good through and through there is nothing that is not good in you you are good you are holy you are perfect you are excellent you are majestic there is simply no no other being created or uncreated like you that can compare to you you are worthy of all of our praise all of our adoration we adore you God we lavish our praises upon you we lavish our love upon you we lavish our adoration upon you oh it's just a small measure it doesn't compare to your worth or value but we give you what we have we give you all that we have everything that we have all of our praises all of our words all of our we love you with all of our mind all of our soul all of our heart all of our strength everything with this God and yet help us to love you more because we know that our love is imperfect but we also know that your love is perfect because everything about you is perfect we're so far from perfect we miss the mark every day we fall short of the glory every day but you still love us anyway you still walk with us anyway you still desire to fellowship with us anyway you still bless us anyway what a good and great and awesome God that we serve we give you glory we give you praise oh there's just not words to describe the gratitude in our heart towards you God let that feeling of joy just wash over you this morning just let it wash over you the joy of being in his presence the joy of praising his holy name the joy of knowing that you are in Christ and nothing shall take you from the father's hand hallelujah we say hallelujah we say hallelujah hallelujah to the lamb of God that took away our sins hallelujah to the lamb of God that washed us clean Oh, Jesus, hallelujah to the Lamb of God, whose spotless, sinless blood was shed for the propitiation for our sins to redeem us, to justify us, to set us in right standing with you. We thank you, Lord. We embrace the work of the cross. We embrace everything that you are, Jesus. There is no other God like you. We thank you. We give you praise and honor and glory this morning, God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for opening our eyes to who we really are, to who you really are. God, give us a revelation of who Jesus is. Is. because until we know who he really is we'll never fully see who we are in him he is matchless he is majestic he is he is he is perfect he is he is love through and through we thank you Lord help us Lord help us Lord help us Lord I thank you Jesus I just saw a picture of an ID card, a picture of an ID card, and Jesus writing across it, approved. You are approved in Christ. That is your identity. You are authorized. You are loved. You are healed. You are whole. You are prosperous. You are accepted in the beloved. The Lord would say to you today, accept the identity I've given unto you, because many in the world have tried to peg you with an ID that is less than what I've called you to. Many have tried to tell you who you are, says God. Many have tried 
try to convince you that you are this or that or the other thing. Many have rejected and despised you. Many have overlooked you. Many have abused you and used you. Many have tried to make you fit into a, a, a hole that you don't fit into. So, oh, Jesus. Many have, I just see, you know, these, these, these little games that the kids play where there's like little, little round things you got to put in the round thing and the square thing goes in the square peg and the, in the hole and the, and the, and the, and the triangular thing goes in the triangular hole. The Lord just showed me people physically trying to force you into the wrong hole. Some of you are cylinders and the enemy and people that the enemy is using, even well-meaning people that don't know better. They're trying to force that round, uh, that round, uh, that you're, you're like a cylinder and they're trying to force you into the triangular hole. And so you've been bruised and battered. You've been hurt and wounded. You've tried to mold yourself into an image that God has not created you to be out of trying to, to please people out of trying to please your mother, trying to please your father, trying to please your boss. You've tried many of you to be something that you're not for the sake of peace many times because you didn't want the backlash. You've tried to be something that's, that the other people wanted you to be because you loved them and you wanted them to be happy. But let me tell you something. God is, you're not responsible for other people's emotions. I just see it like this hand trying to force you to fit somewhere that you don't not, that you, that you just don't fit. That's why you're miserable. That's why you're frustrated because you're not walking in your highest calling. You're not walking in that place. God has asked you and told you and showed you that you can walk. People have stood in your way and caused you to, to see yourself as less than you don't know. Some of you, why you haven't fit you, why you haven't fit, why you haven't fit. It's because you don't fit. God has a perfect, if the, for the cylinders, God has a perfect, a perfect, a, a, a perfect slot, a perfect space for you. There's a perfect way for you to walk. And you, I, I, I just I just see it so clearly it's like a dog can't be a cat and a horse can't be a uh, can't be a cow there's just been so many of you that have been mismatched your gifts have been misidentified oh Jesus your gifts have been misidentified some of you people are telling you well you've got this gift you don't have that gift you have a different gift some of you have been uh, they, they've got you stuck you know in, in hospitality when you're not you're not hospitable you don't like to, to be hospitable you like people but you it's just not your thing it's just not your thing you're called over here to prophesy and they want you to to, to to serve food there's nothing wrong with serving food some of you are being are being told you're a prophet and you're not a prophet you're really a you're you're really a, a giver you're you're a server uh, there's just been a, a misidentification of, of gifts oh my goodness there's been a misidentification of gifts and you're not you don't feel anointed you don't feel spiritual in that place you don't feel like you're like you fit and it's because you don't fit oh whatever God has called you to beloved it's the highest call for you well even if it seems like something lowly even if it seems like something that, that that the church does not esteem as high as another gift don't fall into the trap of the enemy of comparing yourself this one and that one and this one oh the Lord shows me that some of you oh dear God don't get mad at me now I'm trying to help you some of you ha have coveted gifts that don't belong to you coveted gifts that, that God has not called you to walk in therefore you're trying to be something that you're not and no one has forced this upon you the enemy has fooled you trying to make you think this gift is the highest higher calling this gift is the is the is, is the better way but it's not oh beloved stay in your lane stay in your assignment that is where the anointing is that is where the grace is we cannot be something that we're not some of you dear Lord some of you some of you have resisted the true gift because you thought you weren't worthy of it some of you have resisted a high call on your life because you said who am I why should I who am I and that's the devil talking to you in the first person that's the devil talking to you in the first person who am I? Who am I? Who am I? Or the own insecurities in your soul. You've resisted that call into the prophetic because you said, who am I? Who am I? Who am I? If God calls you to it, he's graced you for it. He's gifted you for it. He's anointed you for it. He's prepared you for it. Don't resist the will of God for your life. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, help us to step into that which you've called us to. Help us to step out of that which you've not called us to. Jesus, would you help us, Lord, not to, try, not to be conformed uh, by the hand of man but to be conformed to yield to the hand of God Lord we hop up on the potter's wheel today God and we say God shape us mold us bend us break us God oh Jesus that was a dangerous prayer Jesus would you just do what you want to do we hop up on the potter's wheel today we say Lord have your way shape us into the vessel that you want us to be in Lord if you want to shape us into a prophet shape us into a prophet if you want to shape us into a in, 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 into one who 
who gives. Shape us into one who gives. If you want to shape us into one who serves, shape us into one who serves. If you want to shape us into, into an ex, into an exhorter, shape us into an exhorter. Lord, if you want to shape us into a marketplace business, but shape us, God, just shape us, mold us, break us, change us, make us fit into your mold instead of allowing the enemy to push us into a mold where we're miserable. Oh, Jesus, would you help us today, God? Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, we want your way. Your way is the better way. Your gifts and callings upon our life are not without repentance. There's somebody listening to me and you're like, well, I missed it. I missed it. I missed it. I missed it. I should have followed the Lord 20 years ago. I should have obeyed him 10 years ago. I should have stepped into that calling when I, when he told me and I didn't do it. The gifts of call, the gifts and callings of God are without repentance. It doesn't matter if you started when you're 80 years old, there's still time for you. There's still time for you to fulfill your destiny. There's still time for you to complete that mission. There's still time. God is able to redeem the time you just got. Oh, look, I, I heard the Lord say regarding 2018, I'm going to slip a little bit out. I'm going to share with you a little bit, a little bit. I'm going to share with you a little bit. He said, there's going to be an accelerated acceleration, an accelerated acceleration an accelerated acceleration an accelerated acceleration into my shock the other prophets at the at the apostolic council of prophetic elders were all prophesying about acceleration I said Lord you spoke to my heart an accelerated acceleration in 2018 whatever it is that needs to be accelerated in your life is going to be accelerated as you follow him as you yield to him if you resist him he can't accelerate it if you resist him he can't do a thing but if you yield to him if you say yes Lord speak Lord for your servant is listening speak Lord for your servant is listening and if you obey the word that you hear if you'll not just hear it but if you'll be a doer of it then you won't find yourself walking in the deception of a missed calling the deception of the wrong spiritual gift match of the deception that we call that comes when we don't obey God give us a grace the grace of obedience Jesus give us the grace of obedience then accelerated acceleration now watch all the prophetic pirates steal the word praise God hallelujah as long as the word gets out there that's all that matters praise God oh I need to write that article on prophetic pirates hallelujah Jesus 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 I thank you Lord for the accelerated acceleration God's going to help you make up for lost time as you lean into him as you fling wide the doors to your soul as you say have your way Jesus let the winds blow God I'm willing to walk through the fire if I've got to walk through the fire to burn some things away that hinder love I'm willing to walk through the fire if I've got to walk through the fire to burn away some pride and work in me a humility I'm willing to walk through the fire if I've got to walk through the fire to burn away uh, the impatience the pride all those things God that hinder love all those things that cause me to fall come on pray with me say I'm willing willing God I'm willing to walk through the fire if that's what it takes to draw me closer to you if that's what it takes to burn away the impurities to burn away the wrong mindsets to burn away oh Jesus I'm willing to walk through the fire because I know you're walking with me I said there's a third man there's a fourth man in the fire Shadrach Meshach and Abednego they were in the fire and the and the king turned up the fire seven times hotter the fire was so hot that the one who put Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the fire was killed instantly by the heat. But there were three men in the fire and they were sitting, standing in the fire waiting for the deliverance of God. They were waiting for God's hand to move and all of a sudden they said, wait a minute, I see a fourth man in the fire. God is with you in the fire. Oh, and the fire burns. Come on now. It burns. It hurts. Dear God, it burns. It hurts. It's horrible. I don't like it. But you know what? I like the work of it because there's a dross that comes to the surface in the fire and it burns away and you're purified like gold you're purified like gold you're purified like gold so you can burn and shine you burn then you shine then you shine then you burn come on John the Baptist was one he was in the wilderness and the Bible says that he burned and shined he burned and shined he burned and shined he had been through the fire he had been through the wilderness he had been through the waters lo when you walk through the fires I 
will be with you. When you walk through the water, it shall not overtake you. Oh, the Lord says he is with us. He is with us always. He is with us to the ends of the earth. He is with us for all eternity. He is with us. 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 He's not going to leave us. Oh, he's shaping us. He's molding us. He's putting us into the kiln. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you. We embrace the fire. We embrace the wind. We embrace all those things, God, that we've got to walk through to make us be more like Jesus. Oh, we cry, oh, Jesus, I want to be more like Jesus. And then the fire comes to make us more like Jesus. And we begin to run from the fire. We begin to, to, to act like Jonah and go in the opposite direction. God gives us a hard word. He gives us a hard task. He tells us something to do. Go and do. We don't like it. We don't want to do it. We say, no, God, we're like Naaman. And Elisha said, go dip in the river seven times that your leprosy might be taken from you. And he said, I don't want to do that. That's offensive to me. I, I, I don't want to do that. God gives us an assignment. And sometimes we act like Jonah. Sometimes we act like Naaman. Sometimes we just don't like to do what the Lord says to do. But Lord, give us the grace of obedience. Give us the grace not to be offended by the work that you've called us to. Oh, Jesus, would you help us? Oh, Jesus, would you help us? Oh, Jesus, would you help us? We're walking through the fire. We're going through the fire. We're going to come out purified, and we're not even going to smell like smoke. Hallelujah. We're not even going to be smoky and charred, but we're going to be burning and shining with the fire of God. I thank you, Lord, for the angels of fire. I thank you, Lord, for the baptism of fire. I thank you, Jesus. Jesus, for your fire. Oh, it's been a while since I prayed about the fire. Jesus, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I thank you, Lord. What do I see? I see a bunch of fire starters. I see a bunch of burning ones. I see a bunch of lit up ones. You're just lit. Come on. You're lit. The, the, the young folks like to say, that was lit. Come on. You need to get lit up. You need to get lit up up for Jesus. I see a bunch of burning ones, a bunch of shining ones, a bunch of fiery ones. I see ones who are dedicated to the Lord. What do I see? I see those who are not willing to turn back, who are going to put their hand to the plow and keep on pressing. What do I see? I see those who say yes to the fire, who say yes to the wind, who say yes to the process. Come on. There's a process in God. I see those who are willing to do what it takes to contend to the end, to keep on press it. Come on. Hallelujah. Oh, mashtorakata, fire starters in the house. Come on. It's time to get ignited. Many of you just need to, to get under the, under the flame of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Be a keeper of the flame. Come on. Where's my intercessors? Come on. Where's my intercessors? Come on. Where's my intercessors? The keepers of the flame, the keepers of the flame, the keepers of the flame, those who will rise up in the middle of the night and pray 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 pray and pray. How, where are you? Where are you? Where are those ones that will be the keepers of the flame? Hallelujah. The flame, the fire on the altar shall never burn out. Make us a house of prayer, God. Let us not just be those who go to the house of prayer. Make us a house of prayer, God. Come on. Let us not be those who just are on our way to the house of prayer, getting attacked by python spirits like, like Paul. I, I thank you, Lord, that we would, we would, we would, we would press through the attacks of the, of everything that would try to hinder our prayer. I feel the fire of God. Dear God, I'm sweating. I feel the fire of God. Come on. It's a fiery morning. Oh, let your fire burn. Make us a house of prayer, God. Make us your house of prayer, God. Come on. Make us your house of prayer. God. Lord, we yield to you. We'll get up in the middle of the night if you call us to. We'll get up early in the morning if you call us to. We'll pray in the middle. Lord, we'll pray. We'll pray. We'll pray. Come on. Where's my intercessors? Come on. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Ignite us, God. Jesus. 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 Jesus, Shadrakatam Rosto Shoko Torakata, Sherakatam Rashtarabashti, Shorakatarabashti, Shoko Tombriste, Sheke Terakatam Basti, Keteroko Tomashi, Yeke Terakatarabashti, Shorakatam Rashta, Sheke Te, Yeke Terebeshte, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. There's no other God like you, Jesus. Come on. 
Come on, sometimes you're just not praying hard enough if you don't work up a sweat. Sometimes, you know, we go to the gym. Oh, we work up a sweat in the gym. Sometimes you need to work up a sweat and pray. You know what? It's called work. Do you know how you spell prayer? W-O-R-K. It's work. Hallelujah. It's work. But the Holy Ghost is working in us. And the Holy Ghost is working through us. It's the Holy Ghost who empowers our prayer. We don't know how to pray as we ought sometimes. But the Holy Ghost prays for us, making intercession for us. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, Shokata. Come on. Shake it. Make us a house of prayer, God. Make us a house of prayer. We don't just want to be on the way to the house of prayer. We we're on the way to the house of prayer. And that python spirit, if we are the house of prayer, come on. There's a difference. There's a difference. There's a difference. Come on. There's a difference between going to the house of prayer and being the house of prayer. Come on. There's a difference between going to the, it's good to go to the house of prayer. How about if you take the house of prayer with you? How about if you take the house of prayer to your workplace come on how about if you take the house of prayer to your school come on how about if you take the house of prayer to the grocery store lord make us a house of prayer today whoa come on 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 yes sharakata mishte rosho kata mashte come on intercessors i love me some intercessors hallelujah oh you're underappreciated but i appreciate you Fire, 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 fire. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. We stand together. Mosha Rakata. Briste. Mosha. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We say, Yes, Lord. 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 Make us a house of prayer. Make us a house of prayer. Let us take the house of prayer everywhere with us. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who was and is and is to come. Hallelujah. Oh, sure. Come on, seers. Come on, seers. What do you see? Come on. Oh, sure. I see a house of prayer. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. O Shorakata Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Make us a house of prayer. Make us a house of prayer. Make us a house of prayer. That would be a good teaching, wouldn't it? What does it mean to be a house of prayer? How do you become a house of prayer? Hallelujah. Praise God. My God, my God, my God. Whew, Jesus. I don't have to go to the gym. I pray. Mashti. Hallelujah. I don't have to go lift weights. I'm lifting some Holy Ghost while I'm working up a sweat. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm telling you guys, you're going to want to get in on this prayer, this mentoring and prayer and intercession program. Don't wait. <laughs> don't wait. Don't wait till all the seats are filled. Please don't wait. Don't wait. Don't wait until all the seats are full. Listen, prayer is everything. Prayer is our lifeline to God. It's everything. It's everything. We must learn how to press in deeper. That's one of the things I'm going to teach you about in the school of the spirit, becoming a house of prayer. You know, when you become the house of prayer, it shifts your whole mindset to your God. Don't wait until the seats are full and get mad at me. You have to wait till someone drops out to get in. Go get your seat registered now. School of the spirit dot TV school of the spirit dot TV. Don't forget. Don't neglect to do this. Starting in January. Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus. Some of you need to get ignited. Some of you need to join the Ignite Network. Hallelujah. Ignitenow.org. Some of you need to get ignited. You need to become, of this, become part of this family. We have over 400, 450 prophetic voices ignited in the first year. Dear Lord, Felicia Tucker is one of our ambassadors. She's just awesome. She knows what's up. 
IgniteNow.org. If you're at Ignite, you get a 15% discount on the every school in the School of the Spirit. All of it. Praise God. All of it. All of it. IgniteNow.org. I'm telling you, don't don't st- commit to, to to change in 2018. Commit to to being a different, a better, a more sensitive to the Holy Ghost person. Felicia has had a divine acceleration since she joined tonight. Amen. I know you have. IgniteNow.org. Go to SchoolOfTheSpirit.tv. Seriously, get involved in something. Don't go into this next season do the same way you left the last season. It doesn't work. You've got to do something different if you want to see different results. Sure, go ahead and quote me, uh, sister. Amen. SchoolOfTheSpirit.tv. Thank you, Rogine. You're awesome. Amen. Hallelujah. Get your things in line. Get everything lined up. I'm doing all things new. I've got a new house, a new car, doing everything new. Why? Because I like to go into the new year with everything settled. I'm getting everything in order. I'm getting my house in order. Praise God. Some of you just need to get a, 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 new, a new mindset. Some of you need to get a new you know, some new relationships, a new alignment. Some of you need to get, you know, a new, uh, something new. Amen. Doors of favor have opened since you joined Ignite. Amen. IgniteNow.org. New, new, new. Amen. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Christine Jackman, can't wait to see you again. New alignments, yes. New alignments, new alignments, new alignments. New alignments. New alignments. Shokatam Brashta Shakata. Email the office if you're having trouble with signing up for something. Just go on the school the spirit dot TV or whatever it is and just email. Listen, if you want to sow a seed into the ministry, I invite you to do that. I invite you to do that. I welcome you to do that. God is a is a provider and he'll provide my needs however it, he how, however he cho- however however whatever it takes, he'll do it. But some of you, he's he. Uh, some of you would be blessed to to sow a seed into this. If it's blessing you, bless bless the Lord back. This is all inspired by the Lord. You know, I get up at four o'clock in the morning almost every day to pray, to listen to what the Lord is saying, to intercede for you. I'm basically making intercession for like a million people a week. Isn't that crazy? Blows me away. But it's, you know what it started out with? Fifty. A hundred. 200. I remember when we broke the 300 mark. Now I'm making intercession for over a million people a week. That's 52 million people a year. Praise God. Isn't that crazy? Dear Lord, you saw an upside down umbrella to catch the blessings. Amen. IgniteNow.org. If you want to sow a seed, please do that. Help me to expand this vision through more media. Not just the prayer calls, but everything else I'm I'm doing. Help me out. Help a sister out. You can send a, a seed to jenniferleclair.org slash donate. jenniferleclair.org slash donate. You can become a partner there at jenniferleclair.org slash donate. Don't back off because if the enemy begins to squeeze your finances to tithing to your church and to giving offerings. Don't back off. Don't back off. Don't do that. That's foolish. The enemy will always give an optical illusion that you're not going to have enough to get you to, to hold on to your seed instead of sowing it because the seed that you sow is the seed that brings increase. The seed that you hold is the seed that you eat and the seed that doesn't bring you more seed. You can't get more fruit without planting seed. Some of you, I just discerned you're under, you're under financial attack. It's a very important that you listen to the Lord and sow where he tells you to sow. You don't need to sow presumptuously. You don't need to sow out of your flesh or out of your emotions, out of hype. But if the Lord is instructing you to sow, you're in a financial situation, a, a bad problem, and the Lord's telling you to sow, sow, because the seed that you sow is the seed that will bear more fruit. The seed that you eat is the seed that, <laughs> and that's it, it's done, you, you finish, you have, no, you, you got me? Sow where he says to sow. JenniferLeClaire.org slash donate. You can also go to PayPal. Yes, Ignite is different than Blaze. I think, Tammy, I think my office has explained that a few times. I'm sorry if they... Didn't explain it well enough. PayPal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire. PayPal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire. Don't be a dead sea. Don't be the dead sea. The dead sea takes in water and doesn't put any back out. 
Don't be the Dead Sea, receiving, 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 receiving flowing, living water from these prayer calls and, and never sow a prayer back, never sow a kind word back, never sow a, a financial seed back. Everybody has something to sow. Maybe you're sowing prayers. Praise God. Maybe you're on a fixed income and you just this, you have X amount to pay your bills and the Lord's not telling you to sow a seed. You can sow a prayer. You can sow something. Don't be a Dead Sea. Don't be a Dead Sea. JenniferLeclaire.org slash donate paypal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire. You can use text to give 754-701-2161. 754-701-2161. Text the word pray to 754-701-2161. You can text the word pray. Hallelujah. There's nothing wrong with my website. Website works fine. Amen. Works just fine. You can also use the P.O. Box, P.O. Box 3953, Hallandale Beach, Florida, 33008. Yeah, don't be a Dead Sea. There's too many Dead Sea Christians, and that's why you, you, your finances are dead and dying and your relationships are dead and dying because you just take, 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 take. I'm not talking about you, of course, but all those, you know who I'm talking about. All, you, there's people in your life, you know who they are. They just take, 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 take. Take, 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 take. Never give a thing. They're consumers. It's okay. There should be give and take in relationships. You know, if 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 you're in a, a relationship or a friendship and nobody and, and and they're always you've always got to pay for everything and you always got to do all the praying and you always and there's no give and take. They're not there. If you, if you have friends and they're not there for you when you need something, they won't pray for you in your time of trouble. But they're always calling you when they're in trouble. You need to get some new friends. It's time to make a, a covenantal shift. And Felicia's life has been... Selfish friends are not good. Everybody goes through seasons where they're more needy than others. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about when your time of need comes. You can't find anybody to stand with you. Get some new friends. Amen. I don't know where I was. Anyway... School of the Spirit TV. Get involved in that. The Seer School is also on there. If you're a Seer, get in on it. Get in on it. If this is what you want to get in on, get in on it. I just put. Uh, uh, I just. I just published a Kindle book yesterday. A Kindle book. You can you can read Kindle books on your computer. You can read them on, on your tablet, or you can read them on a Kindle. But I put out a Kindle book yesterday with, the, with not just the Word of the Lord for 2018. I'm going to issue that in an article, the Word of the Lord for 2018. I'm going to issue that in an article. I prophesied it at the Apostolic Council of, of Prophetic Elders, part of it. Part of it. It's a long prophecy. The prophetic word is in there. I'm going to be releasing the prophetic word in an article for sure. But I've unpacked the prophetic word with about, I don't know, 50, 60 pages of teaching on how to apply the word to your life you can find it on amazon right now it's just kindle it's called metamorphosis and you can check that out if you want to be an early bird and get in on this i'm going to do a webinar on it as well a free webinar at some point might not be till february due to my being in australia new zealand all through january in scotland metamorphosis metamorphosis t type in amazon metamorphosis jennifer leclaire you can find it on my website soon, but I haven't gotten it up there yet. But you know, I always announce things to you guys first. Praise God. It's just a Kindle book. I'll probably make a paper book, but you know, with such a timely thing, I wanted to get it out immediately. I wanted to get it out. It's just a few bucks, just a few dollars. It's not. It's not a lot. It's just to get to get it out there. Amazon doesn't let you. Doesn't let you. Um, they have parameters about, I don't know if you've ever tried to publish a book on Amazon. There's all these parameters you have to go by. But it's good. Go to Amazon. It's metamorphosis. If you don't type my name in, you're going to get this Metamorphosis by Frank Caza, whatever his name was, that famous book from like a long time ago. So you're going to want to type in Metamorphosis and type in my name if you want to get a hold of that. And hopefully I can get my developer to put that on my website today as well. God is good. God is good. I'm sure I'm forgetting things. Somebody asked, what's the difference between Awakening Blaze and Ignite? Ignite is a network of prophetic people. We're contending for a pure prophetic flow. We're standing together. We're warrant contending, learning, growing, 
pressing, prophesying, interpreting dreams, these things. Awakening Blaze is a prayer movement. It's a prayer movement. You can go to awakeningblaze.com. We have a brand new website. A brand new website. The only thing missing is the map. Awakeningblaze.com. It's nifty. I'll probably make some more changes to it. We went ahead and invested in that, even though many who are in the the, uh, the movement have have not yet fulfilled some of their obligations to help us in this regard. We've gone ahead and bit the bullet and trying to follow the Lord and believe that He will. Thank you, Vanessa and Karen, for the email on the prophetic pirates. We've gone ahead and, and invested in that. We believe in prayer. We're investing as a, as a house of prayer, awakening house of prayer. Or House of Prayer, we're a church in South Florida where we're investing in this. So we've got a new paradigm. We'll be talking with our uh, ambassadors, our regional leaders soon about this new paradigm. AwakeningBlaze.com is a prayer movement endorsed by Mike Bickle, Bill Hammond, Dick Eastman, Cindy Jacobs, Lou Engel, etc., etc., etc. I want to talk to you. I forgot I wanted to tell you today about spying out the land. Let me do this here quickly. Pray for me today. I have a lot on my plate before I have to leave town again tomorrow. I've got too much on my plate with regard to closing on my new condo. Now, here's what we need to see. I saw this over and over in Scripture this morning when I was when I was when I was praying. Yeah, prayforjennifer.com. I was I saw this over and over. I studied this out about spying out the land or spying out. Spying out. And so we see this over and over, Numbers 13 and 12, when Moses sent spies into the land to spy out the land of Canaan. Numbers 13, 16, Numbers 13, 17. Here we see they come back from spying out the land. But we also see this in Joshua. Joshua sent messengers to spy out Jericho. Then Joshua 7.2, Joshua sent, sent, uh, sent some Israelites to spy out the land of Ai. In Joshua 14.7, Caleb speaks about the time he went to spy out the land. Joshua 18.12, the sons of Dan sent from their family five men out of their whole number, valiant men from Zorah and Eshetol, to spy out the land. Judges 18 and 14, they spied out the land. Judges 18, 17, five men, the five men who went to spy out the land. So over and over, we see this concept. Second Samuel 10 and 3, has David not sent his servants to you in order to search the city, to spy it out and overthrow it? First Chronicles 19, 13, have not his servants come to you to search and overthrow and spy out the land? Galatians talks about spying out the liberty. So I'm like, what is this with the spies? You know, sometimes... Sometimes, you know, spies come to our church to spy out our liberty because we're very free at the Awakening House of Prayer. Now, we're not out of order, but we're very free. We're free. Where the Holy Spirit is, there is liberty. And so it's not unusual for there to be, you know, a lot of prophetic utterance, words of knowledge, healings, miracles at the Awakening House of Prayer in South Florida. If you want to be part of our online campus, go to ahop.online. You can watch our services there, ahop.online. But I, I started studying this about spying, and I said, this is wisdom for the warfare. This is wisdom for the warfare. So I looked up the word spy. I always study the Hebrew and the Greek, and the definitions of words, because there's, it's telling. It helps. It helps bring revelation. You know, when you study to show yourself approved, just the very act of studying the word, just the very act of, of applying yourself, yeah, I know what spy means, but, but why don't you just study it? Because you're digging, you're searching for the gold in the Word of God, and God will give revelation as you apply yourself to study. I used to just read the Word. Now I study the Word. You know, there's a difference between re I'm going on a bunny trail. There's a difference between reading the Word. Reading the Word is good, but studying it is a different level. I used to be more concerned with how many chapters I could read in a day. Now, I don't care if I just read three lines. If I study those three lines, you got to dig it out. Sometimes you got, when the Lord shows you that when something strikes your heart, 
when some when something jumps off the page, you don't 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 read past that because you have to get you're on a reading plan and you got to read six chapters a day. Reading plans can be wonderful, but they can also stymie you from going into the deeper places of God. So I've been lately just I read until I get some kind of spark and then I stop right there and study. So the Hebrew word for spy is tor, T O O R, and it means to seek, to search out, to spy out, to explore, to seek out, to select, to find out how to do something, to spy out, to explore, to go about, to make a search, to make a recognizance. So I look to the dictionary. I want to see what does spy mean in the dictionary. We see, we think we know what words means. And I'm a, I'm a writer, I'm a speaker, I'm a communicator. So I've got a good grasp on, a, on the English language and vocabulary. But I like to look up these words. The definition of spy in Merriam-Webster is uh, to watch secretly, usually for hostile purposes. How many of you know we need to begin to spy out the land? Before you go into warfare, before you go to take that promised land, how many of you know that the, God, the, 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 the dreams that God has given you, the promises that he's made you, the promised land he's called you into, there's a devil there to stop you. And you need to spy out the land before you go into it. You need to do some research. You need to find out how to do a thing. If God's called you to do something, find out how to do it. Don't just go try to do it willy-nilly. Go find out how to do it. Go spy it out. Go research it. Make a search. Google it, praise God. Seek it out. Ask the Lord, not just what he wants you to do, but how he wants you to do it. Spy it out. Get in the spirit and do some spiritual spying. Build a tower of prayer. Get on the wall. Be a watchman. Look out over the over and beyond, over yonder, as they say in the South, and see what enemies are out there. Understand what challenges and obstacles that you face before you try to enter your promised land. Take some time. You know, I hate to use this phrase, but the best, the best way in the world, they say, be de- be the play the devil's advocate. In other words, understand what the devil's going to do. Understand that the devil is in the details. These are all sayings of the world, but they apply to spiritual things. Don't just think you're going to charge into the promised land without a fight. There's always going to be a fight to follow the desires of, God, of, the, of your heart for God. The definition of spy is to watch secretly, usually for hostile purposes. How many know the kingdom of God suffers violence? Your life will suffer violence at the hand of the enemy. But the Bible says that the violent take it by force. To spy means to watch secretly, usually for hostile purposes. It's time to get hostile with the enemy. It's time to stop allowing him to steal, kill, and destroy things in your life. It's time to get violent, to use your violent faith to see exponential increase in your life. It's time to get hostile toward the enemy. Stop getting hostile toward your husband, toward your wife. Stop getting hostile toward your children and realize there's a devil on the loose. Then I like this. Recognizance was one of the definitions. Recognizance. Now, Felicia Tucker would know this because she's in the military. But it's an, it, one of the definitions of recognizance is an exploratory military survey, survey of enemy territory. An exploratory military survey of enemy territory when you're going to take the land from the enemy see the promised land was filled with canaanites hittites hivites parasites parasites yeah (laughs) all kind of ites the enemy territory was full of it was was full of all these ites when you're going israel had to dispossess the former occupants they had to evict the enemy But you've got to know what enemies you're dealing with before you can evict them. You can't just batter the air. Wisdom for the warfare. The definition of recognizance is a preliminary survey to gain information. That's why they went to spy out the land. They were were trying to see the lay of the land. They were trying to get the lay of the land spiritually. They were doing it naturally, but we do it spiritually. So pray. Say, Lord, help me spy out that promised land. You've given me a promise, God. You've given me a word, Lord. Help me to spy it out. Show me what enemies are there. Show me what challenges, obstacles. Show me who's going to come against me. Prepare me for the battle. Amen? Hallelujah. You can find me online at jenniferleclair.org. Let me pray for you. Father, I thank you in the name of Jesus that you give us spiritual eyes to see what you're doing, what the enemy's doing. Help us to build those watchtowers, those towers of prayer. Help us, Lord, to build up ourselves in our most holy faith so that whatever it is we spy out it won't intimidate us 
The Israelites were like grasshoppers in their sight, so they became grasshoppers in the enemy's sight. They didn't see themselves for who they were. Help us, Lord, to spy out the land and not be intimidated by what we see, by the challenge, by the obstacle. But let us see the opportunity instead. Help us, God, for your glory to do what you've called us to do, to dispossess the former occupants. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Praise God. Let's go back into worship. Let's go back into worship.